learn about the hack code. In this video, we're going to dive into the world of Spring Boot and Google BigQuery. We'll start with a brief introduction to these powerful tools and then move on to creating a cloud application using Spring Boot and BigQuery. Let's get started. So what's Spring Boot? Spring Boot is an open source job-based framework used to create a standalone production-ready Spring applications. It simplifies the process by providing a suite of tools and frameworks that allows developers to quickly set up and deploy applications with minimal configuration. Spring Boot's key features include auto configuration, which automatically configures your application based on the dependencies you have added, and embedded servers, which allow you to run your application without needing an external server. Additionally, Spring Boot includes production ready features such as health checks and metrics. Using Spring Boot can significantly enhance your uh, productivity by reducing the boilerplate code and providing more straightforward development experience. So, let's talk about Google BigQuery. BigQuery is a fully managed serverless data warehouse provided by the Google Cloud. It enables super fast SQL queries by using the processing power of Google's infrastructure. BigQuery's key features include its fully managed nature, which means you don't have to worry about the infrastructure management and its ability to scale or seamlessly handling large datasets with ease. It also integrates well with various data analysis and machine learning tools, making it a versatile choice for data-driven projects. BigQuery is a particularly useful for analyzing large datasets, real-time analytics, and integrating with Google Cloud services for machine learning or data processing. So now that we have the basic understanding of Spring Boot and BigQuery, let's set up our development environment. So we'll need the following tools, Java JDK, Spring Boot, Maven or Gradle, um, Google Cloud SDK. So first, let's look in how to download a Java JDK. So for Java JDK, we will be using Amazon Conto 21. Let's go and download that. Amazon Conto 21. So here we have the downloads link. So here based on the voice, they have provided the link. So we can click on this and download it. It's very straightforward. Next is Spring Boot. So we can use the Spring Initializer website to generate a new project with the necessary dependencies such as Spring Web. So we can download the project after that and open it in a file ID. So let's go to the Spring Initializer website. So here we have the Spring Initializer website. So here we can see the group name. Uh, I'm saying it as a hack code and this is the artifact name which is the project name. So our package name would be com.hackcode.demo. So here we are using the uh, Gradle for our project for building. And language is Java, as we know, and the Spring, Spring Boot version is 3.3.0. And Java version is 21. So here we can click on generate and it will download as zip. So after that, you can extract the zip and open your favorite ID. So I'm gonna show you another approach using the IntelliJ. So let's go into IntelliJ. So here, click on file, go to new project. So here you can name the project and uh, using the java here this is the file location so here this is the uh, group and this is the artifact what is the package name uh, we can name it as hack code so here we are using the java 21 version it's a uh, jdk is core 21 so let's click on next it will ask for the dependencies we can uh, use this web dependency as we discussed and uh, we can also use the lombok this is for getter and setter and all those annotation purpose which reduce the boilerplate code and we can click on create now we have it created in our uh, intel j so yeah this all the boilerplate code is created and so next is we need to set up google cloud bigquery so we can start by creating a new google code project and enable the bigquery api so we'll also need to create a service account and download the json key and place this in our project folder so let's go and create that. We need to go to the Google Cloud website. This is the link for that. And then we need to create a new project. I already have some projects created, but I'm creating a new project for showing demo. So we can name the project whatever we want. I'm naming it as Spring Boot Demo. So let's click on create. Our, our project is getting created. So once the project is created, we can click on it. So let's go to the APIs and services, enable API and services. By default, Google Cloud would, uh, BQ API would be enabled. We just need to check for it. So let's click on enable APIs and services. So we need to search for the BigQuery API. 
So let's click on the BigQuery API. So we see that it's enabled by default. And now let's go and set up our uh, data sets in BigQuery. So go to BigQuery Studio. So here uh, we are the project Springboard demo and this is the ID, uh, like this default created one. And we need to create a data set. Let's name it as a Springboard demo. It says only underscore server. So we have it underscore here. So I'm leaving to defaults and create a data set. So yeah, we have the data set created. Now uh, it's created. We have to create a table inside it. So let's uh, create a table uh, named person. So let's have, add the fields to that. We need to have ID field, which is a type string and it is required field. And next is we need to have the name field which is a type string and it's also a required field. Next, let's have an email field. So this is of type string, this can be null. So next, let's have ace. This is of type integer. This also can be nullable here. So we have defined all the fields here. So let's create table. Now we got our table created. So here, let's go to the table and Let's create the table. Uh, let's copy the table ID. So let's go to the IntelliJ now. So in the resources, we need to specify this. So first, let's copy. Uh, since we copied it, let's paste it. So this part is our uh, Spring Boot GCP project. So for that, we need to create an application property. Basically, our application uh, or like our code reads from here. Uh, like this is a configuration file uh, where you can keep all the configurable things. So we can define all the configuration parameters here. Now let's define the Google Cloud project ID. So this project ID is same as this one. And we also need to uh, point out the data set here. So let's create that data set ID. This is nothing but this one, Spring Boot demo. Okay, now we just remove this here and we can choose which port our server can run. Let's choose server.port is equals to, by default it runs on 8080. So let's keep it something different, 8082 like that. Now that uh, we have this configuration stored, let's go and create a service account. Go to APS and services, credentials, create credentials, service account. So we can name it as something like Spring Boot Demo and create and continue. So we can leave this free false and just click on done. So now click on the edit service account. Now go to keys. So click on add key and create new so select json type and click it so we can download the json file here and keep it in a product folder so we can store it there now that we got our service account json file we need to store the credentials path here let's have it here so this is google cloud credentials location So I showed in my path and then uh, we need to enable the billing for this uh, Google Cloud project. Let's go to the Google Cloud and let's go to the billing section here. So here we need to add a billing account. It's very straightforward. We need to click on create add billing account and then it would be very uh, like it throws some commands. So I'm skimming that part because it's very easy and straightforward. So, thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next spot where we'll continue our journey into the mastering Spring Boot with Google BigQuery. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to get notified when the next video is released.